today I replaced one of my shutoff valves. Um, had sprung a leak. Had got a crack right here, and so I decided to try one of these shark bait, shark bite. Sorry, shark bait, shark bite uh, fittings. So this is the uh, a three quarter inch slip, um, slip end fitting. So you can slide this down um, further, and then and then slide it back up. Now. Uh, once I reapplied it, I did have a little bit of leaking here, so I actually had to disconnect this valve. And the slip fitting did come with uh, this tool, but you can see right here um, where it connects to is a tapered, a tapered end. So the three-quarter inch pipe that it connects to tapers right, um, right there out. And so this this tool actually doesn't fit in there. And um, so I was in, in a bit of a jam, uh, thought about it a little bit, and my solution was uh, to use a zip tie. So um, all I did was um, put the zip tie on. Right. So I had just enough space to get this slid in right here um, to push that fitting down. Alright, so tied that on and then I just kind of pushed this, push this down while, I, while the slip end um, went back. And so if you either don't have the tool um, or you're working in a very tight space, and you can't get that tool around um, around it. This is another option. I know some people have used crescent wrenches, uh, adjustable wrenches to get in there, but um, that wouldn't work for me because again, this tapered end right here is, is right up against that shark bite um, release fitting, and so I had to get something that was really thin that would fit in there. And again, I just kind of pushed this down. Um, you know, I used. I used a screwdriver to kind of push it, unlock, unlock those, um, the teeth, and then I was able to slip it down. So I uh, hope someone out there finds this somewhat useful, but uh, I know I've learned a lot off of YouTube, so hopefully, hopefully give a little bit back. All right.